and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some five color reborn. This is just a really fun deck to play because it's, you know, very colorful with it being all five colors and uh, you never really know what you're going to have. You know, it's not not like uh, doing the same thing every single turn, you know, like we or every single game, you know, you're not like curving out the same way because of a lot of one and two of cards in here. For the most part, though, of course, we are built around our namesake card, Niv Mezit Reborn. Um, five color, five mana, six, six flyer that whenever it enters, you reveal the top 10 cards of your library. And then for each like guild, basically, you get to choose a card from among them and put them into your hand. So that's why we have a Golgari card and a Selesnia. And of course, Azorius, Orzov, Demir are... Uh, in here as well then you know we got Rakdos Simic you know we got all the guilds in here except for I actually don't have a Gruul card I've considered playing um, Ravager Worm for a Gruul card but um, I don't really like the double green in Ravager Worm because green is uh, quite a splash color um, in here so I have I have like kind of an, an Esper control base uh, with like Splashing red also for Clarion, and then our green are like our our end game stuff. Besides the Johnny costing for you know Crasis is usually end game, and same with Niv Mizza. That's so like green is not too much. Where we we'd rather have you know like red kind of early with these, and then of course our Esper colors as well. So tying that all together with our weird five color deck is of course Chromatic Lantern that makes all of our lands into five color lands. That's what really helps us out here. But anyway, that's our deck. Um, Let's give it a try here. See how it does. <laughs> uh, I have not tried adding Gateway Plaza. We talked about that last time as like something that we could maybe add as like another land. Uh, whoops, wrong deck. I don't. I don't hate that. That uh, suggestion. I remember talking about that last time actually. As having like one Gateway Plaza in here. I'm not sure what land I would take out, to be honest. I don't know. We'll just run it like this. All right, with the last two decks of the night, I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the traditional constructed cube for these. I'm not as confident in Five Color Reborn here with playing it in Mythic. Thanks for real testar. Not too confident with it in Mythic quite yet. So I, I want to just throw it in, throw it over here for some good practice with it. And the Quasi Dupla Ooze will be our first time playing that deck in War of the Spark standard. All right, good looking hand. We can have, yeah, this is just a, is this actually just our best possible hand? I think it is. Actually, I think this is our best possible hand. Turn two, Erasure. Turn three, Chromatic Lantern. Turn four, Niv Mizzet. Yeah, hand doesn't get any better than this. All right, Wow Growth, d Double Little Teferi, a Tamio, and a Nissa. And a Big Teferi. This is a really rough looking hand. Real rough. I mean, that's why. I mean, they have, you know, out of their eight cards, six spells. That's why it looks good. Let's keep the land. Niv Mizzet should be able to get me more spells, so I think it's going to be important that I'm able to hit land drops. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No land, no land, no land. <sighs> no. I am not going to sit this one out. 
Oh, I've done the hero thing. Blair. So we'll see if they play another little Teferi to bounce Chromatic Lantern again. Um, even if they if they do, you know, like the Woodland Cemetery is perfect here because we'll still be able to play Reborn on turn five. Yep, looks like it. I'm known <laughs> for my excellent timing. Yeah, Teferi, Fun Ruiner. Let's try this. Everyone's a Teferi deck. We'll take Othakaya. Alright, unfortunately it's too many cards in hand. We have to discard two. I don't want to discard Chromatic Lantern. If I discard Lantern, I'm not going to be able to cast Explosion. I keep the lantern. I think explosion can be really nice. Do I think it can you know we can late game do a lot of damage with it. And so yeah, I'll just get rid of a crisis because we already have a lot of cards. We have another crisis. protect you if you show remorse I'll show restraint you need to take a time out I'll have Nissa kill Teferi. Let's slow this down. This might be a bad idea. I really should have seen that coming. Getting rid of the Nissa is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, no, yeah, we can't, we can't expansion, we can't copy uh, with the fairy out there. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm not gonna be playing expansion too much. Through this land, we are all connected. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Here we go. <laughs> oh wait, I can't play instant speed stuff. Cause that's a fairy. Right. I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll plus this to fairy and then, and then, you know, like, clarion it into speed. I can't do that. Well. Hmm. Still not bad, like, waiting on these cards anyway for more lands to become creatures. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, Planeswalker, I, I certainly do forget sometimes about the, the Planeswalker static abilities. It's tough. Like, there's just so so much, so many things to be thinking about of, like, how I'm going to be sequencing and everything. And, you know, like, there's there's so many lines to be thinking about what to be playing and doing and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah, Planeswalker statics are, are just tough to remember. Especially, you know, like this is—it's like a, it's still a new thing, it's still a relatively new thing. The land fights for us. They just don't care, care about my Teferi at all. Man, imagine that I, I could have cast an instant speed spell there, and imagine I could have expansioned the, their elder spell. What if I could have copied their elder spell? That would have been great. Yeah, imagine you could actually play magic. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. All right, get this extra Kaya's Wrath, Elder Spell. I guess a bunch of vetoes and try to... Like, Command the Dreadhorde is just going to be something I'm going to need to, need to counter. So I guess we're just going to try to have all these vetoes for Command the Dreadhorde. I do like the Othakayas hitting their planeswalkers. Hey, Darman, tuned in right in time. I don't know what the other four cards I want to cut are, though. Oh, no! I thought I still had a little bit of time. 
Ugh, this has just not been it not been my game here. Yeah, Dispark is really good against the walkers to not let them bring them back, but uh, maybe I should just shouldn't have Dovin's veto. Just Command the Dreadhorde's kind of unbeatable. I had 13 seconds left. That's what I thought. I thought I had more time. Oh, well, we didn't need to do very much sideboarding anyway. Basically, only like a Johnny the Great Hearted is about the only card I really wanted to make sure to get out of the deck for this matchup. So, of course, that's our first card to draw. The only card I really wanted to sideboard out. All the other cards, like, kind of do stuff. But this is, like, mostly our Selesnya card main deck to help us out against Mono Red. But it's taking their time. Taking their time. Yeah, it's basically a yeah a collection of best spells from all colors. Yeah, basically. Basically, like they're trying to work together. Um, they're trying to be a controlling type deck here. Not looking good for us. These cards are really hard to beat, Teferi and Nyssa. All I need to do is just draw two lands, which, of course, how it's been going for us the last few games. We're certainly drawing a couple lands here. Well, I'll give them the Nissa. Maybe we can find another sweeper. At least they won't be able to just draw like tons and tons of cards. You know, like all we have to do is figure out like how to beat a bunch of three threes. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Whoops, you first. If only this card was something else, you know, like our extra Kaya's Wrath or a Dispark or something else. 
Oh, they drew command the Dread Horde. Why not? All right, let's let's reset arena here for how it's kind of laggy and how it how it cut off during while I was sideboarding and everything. Let's reset arena. I should have done that before the league, yeah, in between leagues here before like the YouTube recording. That's a good dinner. I like tacos. I like tacos. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's try again. Oh and one. Yeah, it's something. It 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 is kind of something to reset basically every. Um, uh, every league. All right, Storm. Have a good night. All right, mono red. Well, Clarion is one of our best cards here. That's good. I wouldn't mind finding the Ajani. So I definitely don't want the Niv-Mizzet. Do I just take the... the Shockland? Just to make sure we're gonna have like the five mana for Niv-Mizzet Reborn? And we'll probably draw another land, right? I guess I'm... yeah, no, I'm gonna ditch it. I think... I mean, I think it's pretty easy for us to draw a different land, but I think it would be nice to be able to have something to play on turn four also. <laughs> that could be famous last words. We may just never have another land now. If I keep it, then it's definitely just a bunch of lands afterwards if I if I would keep the card. But not keeping it means that we won't have lands. Discovery is nice, though, because that, that's something I get to play here on turn four. And I can even discovery and copy discovery with expansion. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to keep Expansion to uh, copy their 3 damage burn spell to kill the Chain Whirler. Do I just... Time... Actually... You know, just Time Raveler. Just waste a little bit of time. Sorry I'm late. Goes nothing. Oh, yeah. The Clarion was perfect. Perfect. Should have seen that coming. Yeah, you should have. All right, turn five, Niv Mizzet reborn. See, who, who needs Chromatic Lantern? DJ Polly B gifting out that sub. All right, those are three good ones to draw. Thanks, Paul, my B. Sincrys getting that gifted sub there. Thanks. Oh, I need some Santa emotes too. For Santa Paul. Ooh, Weston. Or, I guess, Weston. <laughs> Probably Weston NC. There we go. Weston, thanks for keeping that hype going.
Palm me. Alright, we got Thought Erasure first to look for a 3 damage burn spell. Well, I'm, I'm glad they didn't save a 3 damage burn spell. Yeah, let's take this Lightning Strike. We'll get rid of that. And Pit joining in on this hype also. Let's keep these hype boats going. Thank you, Pit. Thanks for that sub there. And this is why Clarion's awesome. We get lifelink. Like, honestly, if my opponent just didn't cast those those two burn spells, if they would have just kept Lightning Strike and Wizard's Lightning up, then I couldn't just, like, you know, do the three damage, give my reborn lifelink, which I was obviously doing. Ooh, I want that one. All right. So that's number 12 on the day. All right, Oath of Kaya, more Clarions, more Knight of Autumns, Tristani. Um, hmm. The Spark's good against Chandra and Frenzy. Dovin's Veto is like counter stuff. Probably want that. Probably want this. Probably want these. Probably want that. All right, if I play all these things, I get rid of that. I get rid of this. I get rid of this. I get rid of this and this. I don't know if I can play all these things. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think I, th I just don't think I want to take a turn off to cast Chromatic Lantern. Um, you know, like that's that's what I'm kind of going with here. I think this matchup's maybe may a little too fast for that. Oh, gosh, no red. I mean, I, I need these like two lands to be able to cast Kai's Wrath. I guess we don't really need red right now. All right, I'll keep these. Yeah, Dispark is for Frenzy and Chandra, yep.
There's red. So risk factor. That one's more annoying. Definitely glad we got to Dovin's veto a risk factor. All right, we're down to 10. Need to find a big creature. Man, all lands. Down to eight. All lands. Don't need Chromatic Lantern when you have all the lands possible. Well, we should be dead here. Haha. -ha. Back to five. Oh man, what if we draw a Johnny? And just get to start gaining three life a turn. Or what if we draw another land? Feel pretty silly for keeping those two lands on top, like to be able to cast Kai's or Ath, because the next 37 cards were all lands. Woo! We drew a Johnny! A Johnny! Gain three. Mark it down. You see the benefits of peace? Boom! The Stabilizer, the Great Hearted, a Johnny. Just showing the benefits of peace. <laughs> the floodgates have been closed. Prodigy of Esper, bleh. <laughs> you have sur surrendered the last game of the sixth land in a row. Well, we got Thought Erasure here. Unfortunately, our, since our opponent's playing Esper, these Clarions probably won't do very much. But I don't think we mulligan this hand. Liliana's going to be a little tough to deal with, but I'm just getting rid of the Golgari Queen that kills my Chromatic Lantern. Niv miss it. Wow. Draw... Seven? <laughs> Alright, go to discard. Alright, we'll discard the Ajani, the Clarion, the Clarion. Yeah. <laughs> Average is like, like 2.8 or something like that. Honor and courage. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? Not really. Not yet. You know what? I'm not done yet. You 
humility brings perspective. I shall return. Yeah, five mana, six six flyer that draws seven cards. <laughs> is that pretty good? All right, now that is like the best our deck can do. Turn two thought erasure. Turn three lantern. Turn four six six flyer plus draw seven. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, so we are playing against another Command the Dread Horde deck, which is what we lost to previously. Um, all right, so this is 64. Sixty-three. Sixty-two. Do I really want Teferi Time Raveler? I mean, you could bounce my Reborn back to me if they take a Reborn. All right, here we go. No, I haven't tried sideboarding in Narset's Reversal for the Command decks. I have not. Um, with this deck, though, honestly, maybe we should just be playing like an Unmoored Ego or two, because that's something you can... That's Unmoored Ego is like a card you can grab from a Niv-Mizzet, and you can just like take out... Yeah, if you just take out Command the Dreadhorde for good... You can kind of fight through, like, other, you know, like, you have, like, your Planeswalkers, they have their Planeswalkers, try to fight through Planeswalker battles and stuff. I could see them countering this. So I played the Dragon Skull Summit. Oh, okay, it was Grow Spiral. Say so I play the Dragon Skull Summit here to like make it more, to look more like I really needed that. You know, without playing like the blue mana there. <laughs> You're welcome, Jay. Yeah, I'm, I am happy to not have a huge and obstructive overlay that takes up half the screen. Yeah, just have, just have me, our sub goal for the day, and our records with the decks. But yeah, I don't. Uh, that's what even like we've talked, you know, I've talked quite a bit about like the benefits and non-benefits of having like uh, Twitch chat up on the screen. Hmm. So like Niv is a reborn, but like so basically con concluded that it's kind of best just to to keep the screen as clear as possible. Let you see what's going on. So. Niv is a Reborn is my best card to play. But if we draw, you know, like, we, we probably have to go to discard, though. But I guess that's, like, a not the worst problem to have. Jeez. Draw six? This was like a time I wouldn't mind hitting like a draw two. <laughs> oh, this is too many cards. It's not a May. You have to put the cards in your hand. <laughs> so we went. We went turn four. The t those two games. We went turn four. Six six draw seven. 6-6 six, six flyer that draws 7. The next game, turn 4, play a 6-6 six, six that draws 6. <laughs> uh. That's pretty good. 
And that animation is awesome. I agree. Yeah, got over a thousand viewers in here. I hope everybody's having an awesome Wednesday. All right, so not exactly mono red. It's most likely Rakdos if we've got some Footlight Fiend action going on. But a Johnny should be pretty good. Ooh, Boros. Boros. I think I can play the Lantern next turn. With them having nothing. Yep, y'all were right. It was Mardu. Y'all called it. Alright, gonna bounce the Foot Light Fiend so that we make them uh, sacrifice the Dread Horde Butcher. If they want to kill the Teferi, I don't care about that. Only time will tell. In all now do you see the benefits of peace? Crisis is pretty good here. We'll take that one. What do you think about one or two commands in the sideboard? Nah. No, don't kill my lantern. Okay, good. I don't, I don't love playing just a, some commands in the sideboard. I mean, it's... It's obviously good against the command decks. I think this Tamiyo could go. Um, I think I'd rather just kind of play Unmoored Ego to be able to take their... I think I want one, one Unmoored Ego for three matches. For, like, the Command decks, you take Command the Dread Horde. The last couple of times playing against Esper, like, that we've played, like, today, I kind of feel like if you take Big Teferi from Esper, that'll really hurt them. And maybe you know against Arclight Phoenix taking Phoenix. Obviously, if you'd play against a Nexus person, you'd want you have that for Nexus. But I just want I want to keep as many Guild cards as possible in the deck.
All right, let's give this a try. I kind of feel like I want one on Mort Ego. I know that on Mort Ego has like some real downside and it's not that good of a card sometimes. But I think if you kind of use it as a... Instead of using it like all the time, use it as like a scalpel. Some fine precision. I think it can uh, help and be a good card. Just need a plan for it. Need to understand why you're playing it. Our hand was really good except for all tap lands, but not going to get rid of it even if uh, we have to be delayed a turn on everything. That's just the price we're paying for our five color deck here. We're playing gates. My friend is here to help your pain. Okay, play the land. I was trying to go too fast for you know. Assistants are painfully sloppy. Nobody knows. Ow. All right, so we're at 10. Unfortunately, this these Tibalts, you know, Johnny's usually would have been a great draw here, but of course with the Tibalt, we don't get to actually gain life. You should be flattered. I decided to talk to sure why I picked Tajik there, because I have Clarion, because Tajik stops Clarion. So that's why I took Tajik. All right, we'll get a Krasis and Oath of Kaya. Man, Niv Misery Born is sweet. What a fun card to play. So next turn, I'm going to be playing a Johnny the Great Hearted. Never mind. Things have changed. I no, I wish I would have kept that Kai's Wrath. Oh, we have that thing. Do I gain three life with this card? So Johnny would have given the niv -Mizic Vigilance. Are needed. Nope, not gain three life. We would have given um, Niv Miz a Vigilance. So I would have like played a Johnny, have the Niv have Vigilance, attack the Tibalt, and then second main, uh, you know, tick up and gain three life. Alright, and Johnny finishes it out. Gain three life a turn. Yeah, we would have gained life at the same time we dealt damage. That's why we didn't gain life. But, like, Brass is Contempt. It's like exile it, then gain life. Yeah. Wasn't exactly sure. That's why. I... But, I mean, it's still, like, the, the play I was doing either way. You know, like, I was, you know. I didn't think so, but there's a chance that maybe I would have gained life. You're telling me there's a chance.
And that's why we have this Ajani in the deck. Like, people are like, why do you have a Ajani in the deck? It's because these these red aggros, like we've seen against Mono Red and then that Mardu aggro. Like, we stabilize with all these sweepers, and then Ajani wins the game for us. Like, whenever we're, like, almost dead. We've seen it be clutch, you know, like, against, against like, Mono Red, you know, we were down to, like, three. Yeah, Johnny's really yeah, Johnny really carries those these aggro games. Even though I boarded out against all the like the mid range control decks, I think it's so important for the mid range matchup that's worth it. And even against the mid range decks, just giving like the Krasis and the Niv Mizzets, giving them vigilance, uh, so that you get to attack and then still be able to block, can still help you against like some creature decks. Take the white land. up as I go. My promise is on keep an open mind. I'll protect you. <clears throat> so I can't draw an extra card. Cast the Discovery during their main phase. Perfect. I, I really want Niv-Mizzet for next turn, but I don't want Niv-Mizzet to <clears throat> be subject of this Thought Erasure. So I'm going to just keep the land there. No two black mana. Thanks, Clip. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure, Clip. We'll kind of see. Uh, I like my stream life right now. <clears throat> Niv Mizza with the fairies, kind of a combo. Rebounce it. I've got time. All right, so Othakai can finish off Narset, and then we can rampage away something else. No, I'm not going to draw stuff Thought Erasure. I think... Because I think I want to Thought Erasure away this Ascanta. Like, this Ascanta is, is something I'm certainly worried about. So I want to bounce, bounce this Ascanta and then Thought Erasure it away. 
It's just, do I want to copy Thought Erasure here or save or save this for Explosion? Probably just save this for Explosion right now. I don't think I played a land this turn, did I? They're two black lands away from Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, so not super worried about that. Well, didn't play a land this turn, but I'm keeping these things. This might be a bad idea. I'm known for my ex I'm not ready for this quite yet. <laughs> could really use I think I could just use another land. Yeah, perfect. Yep, we got this. Hmm. Sorry, excuse me there. Alright, let's get our own Narset, Elder Spell, Fetos, Disparks. Oh, the Kai was kind of cool. Tristani, Tamio. Get rid of Lantern. Kaya's Wrath, Clarion, and a Johnny. All right, looks solid. Why cut Lantern? Because our opponent's slow, so we should be able to find our different colors of mana, at least a little easier since they're pretty slow. And also, they have really good artifact removal. Um, <clears throat> efficient art artifact removal. The Devil, and Grass Rampage, all that kind of stuff. I just don't want to rely on it. I want to just have spells. We lost to a Sultai Dreadhorde command deck. So we lost two. Uh, Narset, uh, Vras yeah, Vraska Queen can kill as Kanta, Narset, um, after sideboard they may be, like, Thief of Sanity plan, um, if they're, like, war boss, I'll, I'll regret, um, now, you know, we'll bring, we'll bring back in Clarion if we see war boss. red black lands all right so they got their two cards I got my two cards they have four lands I have three another red black land we can't have that many red black lands in this deck. That's all of them, right? Yeah, we have four. That was all four. I forgot once again. 
I have other schemes Thought about the induced amnesia deck could be really sweet with Teferi's Time Twist ended. as an extra activator. Uh, I don't think that works. Teferi's Time Twist. Yeah, I don't think that works with... Because induced amnesia says whenever it goes to the graveyard, not whenever it leaves play. And Teferi's Time Twist, if I remember correctly, just has it leave play. I think now I'll go ahead and explosion and get three cards. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Get another three cards. Just keep on chaining draw threes together. That's a good one. That was a good one. And we are four and one. All right. That means we are at the final boss. Final boss playlist time. Let's get in the zone. Final boss zone. Yeah, this deck's so much fun. Niv Mizzet Reborn. Legit. Ugh. We can do this. We got that turn four Niv Mizzet here. More Glixis. Well, our hand has two cards we would normally be siding out against Grixis. Cool. That was one of them. Well, our opponent also just only saw it the Esper <coughs> Esper Mana Colors there. Right on sketch. Trust me. Narset's annoying again. Before action. Narset's annoying here. Matter of time. But we could be much greater. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? At least we make it so the duress doesn't do anything. Meditate and prepare. No. Not thought erasure that takes Niv Mizzet. And 
And now they know not to cast their duress. Boo. Just all the boos there. That was... That was a really annoying card. Our opponent's name means Crazy Gunner in Norwegian. I mean, I guess I just play this thing and try to attack the Narset. And that Thought Erasure was a killer. Alright, well, Nar set down. But now it's Canta Flips. Yes, yeah, so Johnny is awesome. <laughs> a Johnny, like, was, is like the card that we needed to be able to defeat <clears throat> the red aggro decks. And we were, like, a Johnny was just really clutch in winning us games earlier that we would not have been winning without a Johnny. It is really good. I know a lot of people. That's like that's the card that people question. Of like, why do you have a Johnny in your deck? But it it is really good in that specific in those matchups. Like the and the red aggro decks are of course are, are pretty difficult for us. Like like look at what we're playing. I will return. I outsmarted you eons ago. Yeah, our opponent should have. Well, maybe. Maybe not necessarily should have, but I think that I think I maybe would have plused Nicobolus. I don't know. Plusing Nicobolus is just always great. But yeah, they just went for the minus. They didn't want their bolus to be able to die at all. So as we saw there, like late game drawing Chromatic Lantern against Grixis is is just really tough. So that's why we are taking it out. Of course, drawing cl Deafening Clarion, not good either. Alright, same sideboarding we just did. What's up, Mercer? Sub day hype. All right, we get the Thought Erasers this time. Let's go with this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the music... Yeah, being able to have music does make the, the live stream a lot different experience than the YouTube channel. Uh, double Discovery, Double Nickel Bolus... Get rid of this Nickel Bolas first. I want to find green mana. I'll get rid of the other Nickel Bolas this next turn. I was actually, we were actually talking about that earlier. Um, I was saying that if, if I was watching on, like, it's unfortunate, like, hmm, let me restart. Basically, I'm not able to really talk the entire time, of course. Like, I just can't talk, like, just the whole time while streaming, and so there's a lot more dead air on the YouTube channel, because otherwise the, the dead air kind of gets filled a little bit by music. And so that if I was watching on YouTube, I'd probably be watching at, like, 1.25 or 1.5 speed myself all 
Yeah, we, we lost both of our matches to with Arcbo to Esper. Uh, they were close ones, you know, and everything, but didn't go our way. All right, come on, green land. Perfect time for green mana. Well, Narsa can't really find green mana, but can find like a discovery. There's a discovery that can help us find green mana. I was not prepared for this. So not not a bad card to draw there, because you know it, it took the bedevil out of their hand. Plus. Helps me dig. Yeah, let's keep this to spark here too. That could be a, a worthwhile one. The war boss. Alright, coming in with the boss. Let's see what we get. Right, I'll take these. So Golgari Queen can take out the boss. Ooh, no, we need to take out the Dios Canta. If we meet again, this is the kind of the board state where even having like a Johnny in the deck, like where it's not even that great in this matchup, where a Johnny helps of letting having our creature have vigilance and everything. Oh, yeah, Hawkeye's doing really good. He's probably lying up on the bed right now. Yeah, he's doing great. Stop. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my defiance. Uh, just need to find something to kill this stupid war boss. That's not bad. So I'm going with making them sack a Planeswalker instead of the Dispark, because if our opponent draws Nicol Bolas the Ravager, the creature, I want to be able to get rid of the creature, and um, I couldn't get rid of the creature with the Rampage, because there's all these other things to make them sacrifice. We'll just gain four life with the double block there. Take two, so we gain two. Keep our creatures around. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go five. I really hope this auto taps right. I don't feel like clicking through all those lands. Yay! So doing it for five, uh, so I can keep up Dovin's Veto. <laughs> it's actually, it's not, uh, Hawkeye's not actually named after the character in MASH, Last of Mohicans, or Marvel. Um, actually, uh, I and 
Hawkeye, both of us, I guess, are from Iowa, and so he's actually named after the Iowa Hawkeyes, the the university. And Niv Mizzer reborn, getting it done. Ah, that was only game two. Dang it. All right, so seen war boss. Let's keep a couple clarions in instead of Oath of Kaya's. But Oath of Kaya kills Narset, which is nice. Instead of Rampage, no Rampage kills big things. Hmm. Golgari Queen. Golgari Queen's important to kill as Kanta. <clears throat> yeah, this this list is almost the exact same as what we played last week. I think I only just added in the fourth Kaya's Wrath to the in the sideboard over something over oh over the second Teferi Time Raveler. I had a second Teferi Time Raveler in the sideboard. Speaking of Teferi Time Raveler, we can get rid of that card, right? I mean, I guess that does stop my opponent from negating and from countering stuff, though. Hmm. Alright, one Othakaya down. One. Elder Spell down. Two Clarion. I really like Othakaya killing Narset. I think that's really important. I don't I don't want to just get rid of Othakaya. But yeah, Knight of Autumn King, get rid of Azkanta. Maybe that's better than Golgari Queen. I'm glad no war boss here. Wow, getting rid of Dragon God. Are they stuck on lands? No lands. No lands, no. Excellent type. Don't worry. I got this. Mind and God hone your prowess. I've done the hero thing before. It's unfortunate that Narset that card's good. I, I have a lot of cards in hand over there. So we're going to be looking for green mana with this discovery here. And they're just looking for lands at all. Ditch another good, another two good cards. These are not green mana. Man, Tamio is so good in this matchup too. Got 
every Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't know how I, I, I beat three Nicol Bolas Dragon Gods. How do I how do I beat this? I already had the fourth one over there. I have all four. I mean, I do need red land for Niv-Mizzet. Gotta find more answers, though. No! <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Oh wait, I guess I need that thing for uh, be able to cast this discovery on their turn. I will return one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our side again, shutting me down. Jeez. So I need to find Oath of Kaya and kill Narset and also deal with three Nicoboluses, three more. Three more Nicoboluses. I will remake the multiverse in my Defiances and infuriate witness a moat of my power. I don't even draw cards off Krasis, even if we'd be able to play it. All right, that's going to be game over, though. So, you know, we we did a really good job of, like, when sideboarding out Lantern, drawing good mana and everything like that. It was going to have to bite us, like, one game, and it, it bit us the last game. But Opponent's Hand was just pretty good, how we are both slow. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess like, the, the main thing that I... The biggest mistake I made that last game was playing the Teferi when I did to bounce the Azkanta... If I just play Discovery, look for more lands, and keep up Dovin's Veto, I could have Dovin's Vetoed the Narset, and that would have been that. That was the that Narset really just slammed uh, slammed the door on us. Um, but this deck was a whole lot of fun, you know. Four two, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, 
you know, it's hard to beat four <laughs> Nicol Bolas Dragon Gods. They had all four. We took care of three of them. Couldn't, couldn't beat the fourth that last game. But this deck's a lot of fun to play. Uh, I think it I think it has good game against aggro. You know, like, we beat the aggro decks uh, on the back of just, like, having Clarion and, and Kaya's Wrath. You know, like, post-board, we go four and four with those. And then a Johnny was so clutch against those red aggro decks. And that's been the case uh, multiple times of playing this deck of against the red aggro, like really needing a Johnny to step up there. And it did. And uh, good, good deck here. So, all right. Uh, if you are watching this video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching Five Color Reborn, and I'll see you for another video. I'll right, we'll get the regular stream playlist back up here.